the army was taking over they said i'm going to talk to you offline because you're such a big heart and she needs a little hope all right so with that coach corn my mic to you oh wow that thank you so much that means a lot so yeah i was on this mindset of abundance i was kind of remembering my younger years um Working three jobs, thinking of abundance, right? I'm newly newly married. We ended up with three children. So I'm working three jobs. I'm slinging newspapers at 4 a.m. in the morning, playing real estate during the day, trying to figure that out. And then I'd work Radio Shack nights and weekends. And I was just trying to provide for my family and, you know, get rich. I was always going to be a millionaire and take care of my mom and all that other stuff, right? And I say was. That might have been a bad coach word. I'm on my path to a millionaire, right? So, but like the Radio Shack days, just just like when we're talking about abundance, it's like the Radio Shack days, working retail, working in the mall. There's nothing fun about that. But those days taught me technology. And going in and working retail nights and weekends wasn't the funnest thing, but I studied everything that was happening around me. When the guys would bring computers in, I was watching them fix the computers. I, I learned... DOS. This is probably dating me a little bit, right? The DOS days back when you had. <laughs> I know. I know. Don's just laughing right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, the old C slash back back. Oh man, I mean, I even created a hangman game in high school with DOS. It's so funny. But so, but that led me to the opportunity to own and run a CyberStars group that started back in 1995. A guy named Alan Hange got a couple techie realtors together at NAR and they were sharing technology. And you know, 95, Gore hadn't even created the internet yet or he had just created the internet, I think he said. Anyway, so I ended up, you know, when, when Alan passed his second round of cancer, I got handed the torch to manage a group of 250 of the top techiest realtors. So that day, that Radio Shack job led me to great relationships with the top techiest realtors that helped me be successful in real estate. So here's, here's my message that I can share. And this is just real world stuff. If you have, I'm, I'm, this is a book inside of me that I've got to get out someday. And it's a, it's really sharing with young people that if you have a job that you don't like and it's horrible, whether that's McDonald's or whatever it could be, right? What if you came in every day and you thought that was the stepping stone, that was like your radio shack for me, that was going to lead to something bigger and better, and you came in every single day with that mindset and looked for those opportunities for that stepping stone, because coming in and hating your job is not going to, like, it's not going to impress anybody when somebody who has that next millionaire opportunity or that path that might open up and lead towards that, if they're experiencing you hating your job, they are not going to see anything in you. But if you go in every day, like a waitress going in waiting, not necessarily waiting, but just knowing that any day somebody might give you a $10,000 tip or something like that. Well, you got to treat every single day like that. And that's coming from abundance. And it's learning that everything is experienced. Real, real, quack, uh, real quick, last thing, if I can talk straight, because I know we got a lot of other people. I'm cur- I have currently thrown myself into that exact same situation. I took on an office manager role of an office, and not because that job is fun. Don actually knows my world with the company I'm in and the team leader role. I mean, you're basically doing three salary jobs for a partial salary. It's not fun for the accounting account uh, accountability and all that but yet I took that role because what I can do with these 138 agents to help them grow their business will lead to even bigger 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 things that I talk about in the e-myth real estate book and all that stuff just proving the system so go into every single day I, sometimes you even put yourself in a situation that is not it's like why would you take that role because I love the challenge of, of moving to the next opportunity. So that's my share for today. Hopefully it worked for somebody and helped somebody out. Hey, hey, it definitely worked for me. I have an 18-year-old at home, and I just know, and I saw Don flashing his mic, that I'm going to mention that to her because her job is she's mucking out stalls at 7 a.m. in the morning for the people who are coming to ride their horses 